folks and welcome back to yet again another edition of the garage tank painting series so moving on from last time as you can see now we've got the panels remastered up or retaped up i should say ready for the next phase you can see the fair in there we've actually gone ahead and finished the airbrush work on the two panels there and both sides of the fair in here So the plan is now, as you can see, the orange line tape, which I've gone back around the panels, and we're going to mask those up ready for the top colour now over the silver, and the same with the fairing. And that's going to give us an idea then where to redo the outside lines. Now, normally before, I would put my line marker on the colour underneath, blow it over, and then pull the line tape off. But with this one, uh, we're going to do it the other way around, put the colours on first and then finish off with the lines. That way around we're not going to get a hard edge, no, we've got to keep flattening down and then putting clear coats over to build up and then flatten down again to make sure all that panel is smooth. So with this time round we're going to put all the colours on first like I said and then finalise with the lines afterwards. So we're going to go ahead now and just put the masking on round here, get it ready for the uh, candy coat and then we'll get cracking again with the video. So I'll see you again after the intro. Okay, so bringing you a little bit closer to the tank, you can see now we are just about ready for laying on the top coat color, the main color on this tank. So you can see where the panels were before, where we've airbrushed here, Nicely masked up. We've got the bar and shield here. Just to remind you what you're riding when you're sat in that seat there. That's going to look absolutely stunning. So the candy red's going to just flow right through those and underneath. And then we've got that black line through the centre there, which has got a little bit of gold fleck. So before we go any further, and we'll just bring you to the third in, and that's exactly the same, just masked off around where the airbrush work is and the candy red over in the center. And then the overlays will go over the top of that after that coat. But what we're gonna do is do the candy and then put a clear coat over and leave that to go off. That is the project for today. Um, first of all though, what we're gonna do is just blow some micro flake, gold flake inside here. It's a pearl with a little bit of gold in it. And that's just gonna really come through the candy. We're gonna also put another coat over the uh, second coat of candy and then that again will highlight through and give the paint some depth. So let's go ahead. Okay, so again, this is the Sparkle Gold Pearl from the Inspire range. Uh, you can see it's got a carrier in it and it's the gold pearl fleck in the carrier there. You can probably just about see that coming through in the color. Just at the bottom there. Okay, so what we're going to do, we've opened the airbrush out. The needle, you just want to close that and then just pinch it back. Now you can mix this down, but I do find that it goes on just about right straight out of the tub. Tones now for a little bit of the sparkle pearl red. Oh. 
Okay, so we're all suited up. Uh, mask's going to go on. We're going to mix that candy paint and lay on some coats. Uh, the extractor fan's going to be on for this uh, session. So what we'll do is while that's happening and I'm laying the first couple of coats on, we'll put you some good background music on so you can enjoy. So uh, again, all my custom paints I get from custom paints. And this is the paint we're using for the main coat, which is a candy ruby red. Slightly deeper and uh, not like the one which is too much of a slipper red, uh, which is too red in my opinion. So the ruby should just give that deeper uh, colour, which is what I'm after. So again, these are always mixed two to one. So always handy if you have the uh, mixing um, jugs or glasses, whatever you call them. Uh, I always buy these in like a pack of 100, then you've got them. So we're going to mix that up and then shoot some coats on. Okay, so now we've got the candy on and we've took the masking off. You can sort of see the pattern work now that we've got. We've got the black line through the centre. We've got the honeycomb on the top. Now, ignoring uh, as it stands at the moment, because obviously we've got to band this around with uh, some gold banding. So we're going to have the sparkle gold banding that's going to come around the top of the black line underneath and then highlighting around these. These will be toned down and then we may just do a little bit of something on the top here. Uh, but that is a fantastic red, that's ruby red and it really does pop. It's hard in this light to get a true sort of colour of it but uh, it's quite deep 
and then obviously from certain angles then it really does sort of darken down so in the sunlight that's really going to pop so in the next episode what we'll do is we'll do the line work around here and show you how we're going to finish this off uh, at the moment like i said ignore things as they stand because this will be flattened down and then uh, we'll have a clear coat put over the top and then we'll start to do the line work around so that's really going to come to life after that okay so Okay folks, so I hope you've enjoyed the process so far. So you can see there's quite a lot involved when you're layering paints, it's not as easy. Now, before uh, I have done it where you've laid the base coat completely over the tank and done the line work afterwards. On this occasion, I've decided to do the band work separately so that once I've done the clear coat over and flattened these down, I don't have any ridges to work with. So it's a lot easier, it saves doing that every time. Because every layer you do, you'll have a slight little line between the new layer over the top, which you've got to keep flattening down. So with this one now, because what I've done is I've feathered these edges down before I put the candy over. So all we've got is the paintwork that we're letting to dry. And when we've flattered that off, we'll be remasking to put the line work around the edge of those panels anyway. Uh, but, you know, I think it's a beautiful colour. It's looking really well. And I can see this thing now. Once the gold goes on there, those three colours are really going to shine. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. So the next one, uh, whenever that will be, uh, we'll try and get something in the week if we can. Uh, but follow me uh, on Instagram and like my Alchemoto page on Facebook if you wish. I appreciate that. And don't forget, uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Please hit that like button and comment if you will. So thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Alchemoto for now is signing out.